Hi. So we're going to manually stop, start, restart, and delete virtual machines in the virtual machine skill set using Azure PowerShell. So let's do that. So we're back on the portal and we can see that we have our two virtual machines in the virtual machine uh, skill set still running. So we're going to open PowerShell and we'll maximize. And now we have our PowerShell fully deployed. So now we want to first of all stop one of the virtual machines. So we can see the two virtual machines that are currently running. We're going to remove the second virtual machine with ID1. And let's go to the, the command to do that. So we're going to stop the VM in a skill set using PowerShell. And we'll use the command stop. And we'll say Azure VMSs. They will give the resource group name, which is the RG Lab 07. Then we also specify the skill set name, which is VMSS Lab 07. And we specify the instance, which is the instance ID 1. And once we've done that, then we expect the virtual machine to be stopped. So we'll copy this and we'll come back and paste. And I'm going to run the command. And it says this command line will stop the specified resource. Do you want to continue? And I'll say why yes. And let's look at uh, what is happening. We'll minimize and refresh. And we can see it is currently deallocating the virtual machine to stop it. And now the virtual machine has been stopped. As you can see, status succeeded. So we're going to refresh this to confirm that. And we can see stopped deallocate. So we're going to restart this virtual machine with instant ID 1. And we'll use the next command. And that says start. So we're starting the virtual machine uh, skill set. Um, and we specify the resource group name and we also specify the virtual machine skill set name and we want to specify this the um, instance id that's the particular virtual machine we would like to start and that is one so i'm going to copy this and i'll paste that and we'll run the command and minimize to see that and refresh and now we can see it's starting and now we can see that the virtual machine has successfully been started and we're going to refresh this and we can see that it's currently running so next we are going to restart the virtual machine with uh, instant id 0 and we're going to confirm that it, it is restarting so to do that, we'll use the command restart and we'll use restart. Then we'll say the Azure VMSS will give the resource group name, which we already have. Then the virtual machine skill set name, which we already have. And this time the instance ID is going to be zero. So we're going to copy that. And we're coming here to paste. and press enter to deploy the command and we can see that it was successfully able to restart the virtual machine so we've been able to do that and then next we want to remove the virtual machine from the skill set using PowerShell so we're going to remove the Azure virtual machine from the Azure virtual machine skill set and we'll specify the resource group name we we'll specify the skill set name and we're going to use the instance ID of zero. So we're going to remove the first virtual machine and let's copy all that. Copy and we'll come here to paste and press enter. And it says the commandlet will remove the specified resource. We'll say yes, we want to continue, enter, and we'll refresh. 
and we can see it's currently deleting the virtual machine and now we can see that it's successfully deleted the virtual machine as we see start to say succeeded and if we refresh we can see that we only have uh, one virtual machine with index ID 1. So we've successfully been able to show how to stop, start, restart, and to delete the virtual machines from the virtual machine skill sets using PowerShell.